As we prepare for the virtual opening of the new school year on September 21st, the team at the Department of Education's virtual school is hard at work. I'm here with a very important member of that team, Ms. Samantha Wilson. Ms. Wilson, how is the virtual school now preparing for the reopening of school? The good thing about this time around is we have more time to prepare as opposed to the COVID period when we had to shut down and go straight into virtual learning, we have a longer time to prepare and therefore we are being more intentional about the way that we design our instructional program to ensure that we meet our students' needs. So will students be virtually connected to their teachers come September, their actual teachers? So this time around, we are actually using a learning management system that will allow each school and each classroom to have their own virtual environment. So teachers and students who would normally engage with each other in the physical environment would now have their virtual room, students and teachers connected to each other. Interesting. And what about live lessons? Because I know during the pandemic, there was a combination of live lessons as well as those that were pre-recorded. So what's going to happen this time? We will have a combination of both. There will be live sessions as well as there will be recorded sessions for persons to access at their own time and in their own space. So explain a bit about how assessment is going to work, student assessment um, on the virtual platform. Well, once again, I spoke about the learning management system that we will have in place for September. And through this system, we are allowed to issue assessments to our students, but it's also working with teachers for, the, for them to also find alternative ways for assessments other than the paper and pencil, you know, using other ways to assess students, especially now in this virtual realm. All right, now we anticipate a transition from the remote learning to the blended learning. Um, how do you anticipate that transition to be for you on the virtual platform? As I mentioned, being intentional about our planning is key. And we had a great team of officers working together to craft the timetable that we will be using across the country. This timetable is our ticket for a seamless transition from the different models. So